Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to SportsWithReview.com. Natalie Rice from here, and we are talking at the new season Premier League outrights with Jamie James. JJ is a winner, is his Twitter handle if you guys want to seek him out, ask him questions. And also, you post a lot of free tips on there, don't you? You're quite an active tweeter. I'm like the, uh, the gift that doesn't stop giving. And I can see where others cannot see. All seriousness, I am absolutely fired up with the prediction I've got here. I'm at more than a 10 out of 10. I really be, I'm so fired up out of the Premier League. This is my second most profitable sport. Really, calm me down, fan me down, Natalie. Okay. I'm so, I might explode. Premier League is my second most profitable sport. Yeah. I genuinely believe I am the best Premier League tipster in the world because Captain Obvious, he loves the Premier League and he gets slaughtered like a sheep because people like me, the Wolves win. I love the Premier League. Uh, sorry to go on, but I don't like doing the futures very much because it's not my guess. Well, you've got to wait like a whole season. I think the, the main yeah. thing is you've got to wait the whole season. It's kind of like a bit of fun. And I tell you though, I tell you the people who did like betting on the outrights last year was the Leicester betters. Congratulations, yeah, absolutely. That was, uh, but that was a bit of a moneymaker and quite the news at the end of it. You had like bookmakers like trying to buy the, the betters who would bet on Leicester out, yeah. trying to offer them money so that they wouldn't oh. get the full back. Oh, that was all a bit of publicity. The bookies were laughing their heads off seeing Leicester get that in. They took everyone's money. They were loving it. They were getting the free press attention. Uh, my buddy put Leicester to win the uh, Champions League. Yeah. He would have got a good price today, wouldn't he? <laughs> but I mean, no, I mean, I don't really like playing the futures. But I mean, I will play a very small uh, play on this one. Yeah. Um, very difficult to predict because, you know, it's a whole season. This is a, like the punters love it. This is like a bit of a, a punt. I'm not doing this as a professional. Well, I, I'll run through the odds here for our viewers. We've yeah. got, and, and actually, interestingly, um, like last year, I'll quickly run through. We've got uh, Leicester won at 81 points, followed by Arsenal, Tottenham, Man City, Manchester United and Southampton. Mm -hmm. Now, normally when we do the outrights uh, for the next year, it pretty much follows normally. So Leicester would normally be favourite. Yeah. Then followed by Arsenal, Tottenham, yeah. Manchester City. Yeah, it's very this neutral. Is, this is not the case in this time. So I'm actually very surprised. And I think it has to do with we've got a lot of new managers up, up top. Yeah. Obviously, Man United, Jose Mourinho, Man mm -hmm. City, Pope Guardiola, Liverpool. Well, we've got Jurgen Klopp, but this is his first full season. Yeah. And then Chelsea, Antonio Conte. So... We've got Man City, 3.4 lab brooks. Uh -huh. Manchester United, I'm a Man United fan, 4.5 bet 365. Very pleased to see that. Arsenal, 7. Chelsea, 7.5. Tottenham, 10. Right. Leicester come in a lot longer there, 31. Um, 888 Sport. So who are you predicting to win? Well, before we go any further, before I give your prediction, I am telling you now, write this down, put it in your pocket. This will be the highest viewed uh, show gambling show in the world by the end of the season. We are going to make so much money, my friends, betting on this Premier League is going to blow you away. We're going to have everything documented this year, Natalie. So there's going to be no like, oh, what's JJ on about when I do my average play at plus 400 or four zero, whatever, at the Euros. Or we're gonna, I'm going to absolutely smash it. You've never seen nothing like this. I have worked in the red zone of a Premier League trading floor. That's when you're trading the game and the lights in the trading floor and the offshore books go red and no one can go in. Guess what? I was ahead of trading. I'm going to absolutely smash it. So do this. This is what you need to do, my friends. Go to sportsbookreview.com. Open up two or three different accounts with sportsbookreview.com so you can be betting with who you want to bet with because you're going to need those accounts to shop the value because I'm telling you now, Natalie, someone needs to call the police because you and I are going to make a killing. I am telling you now, we're going to make a killing. Now, my, uh, my uh, futures bet is Manchester United. Cool. That's who I'm going to take there. You're like... 4.5, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. I'm like Mr... I'm, I'm on board on I'm that like one. I'm like Mr. Portugal at the moment, <laughs> aren't I? I love Ronaldo. I love Mourinho. I mean, uh, I love Bernardo, our guy here. Portugal made me loads of money uh, in, the, uh, in the Euros, but I really do believe they get the job done, you know? I mean... Uh, I, I don't know. I just feel it's really yeah. aligned for them. Again, but very small play. And also, um, and also, you did make it a good, a good point there. I don't know, like with you guys, like if you've got like sort of like one sportsable account, two sportsable accounts, it's generally good to have more than one because you know you've got different. You've got you've certainly got all the odds that I always quote are generally the best odds available at the time. Yeah. Different sports books offer different prices and also different types of bets as well. Uh, so sometimes it's better to have a couple so you yeah. can sort of choose which one you sort of want to go with. Absolutely, it's a no-brainer. I mean, I'm a shameless promotion, but it is. Is what it is, my yeah. friends. You need if you're a salesman, sell more stuff. If you're working in a factory, ask your boss for more hours. 
Build up your bankroll for the Premier League. Watch that and I. There'd be over a million people. Mark my eye. What I say, Hap, I can see where others cannot see, Natalie. They will not believe the picks I will give you this year. I am not a pundit. You want to do that? Watch the mainstream media. You want to make money? You follow me on this Premier League. You're going to make a ton of money. You know what? I've got to get rid of my well barrow now, uh, Natalie, because I have to go and buy myself a skip. That's how much money we're going to make, my friends. Look in my eyes. It's going to happen. I'm fired up and I can't wait. Let's say where we go. So, uh, yeah, follow us. Uh, we'll, we'll be covering all the Premier League matches uh, in the new season there. Uh, JJ, thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Always on the go. Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.